I'm confused. It's March 26th. The stock market's now up three days in a row, and we're in the middle of this virus pandemic. And yet, the market keeps going up. This morning, we had a report of unemployment of 3 million, the highest it's been in recognizable history. And again, the market is up. I just read an article, a release from the uh, Wall Street Journal that Secretary Steve Mnuchin indicated that as a part of the airline bail bailout package, the federal government would be taking equity interest in some form into the airline industry. Is that a good thing, that our government is taking part ownership in our airline industry? That doesn't sound right to me. Uh, I'm a baby boomer, and, and again, maybe I, I, I misunderstand things. Um, I got a notice, or we were, we were told last night on the, the evening explanation of what's going on by our lead government, and our president and vice president, that I would be getting a check. Uh, for It started out, it was uh, $1,000. Yeah, within the next couple of weeks, now it's a thousand two hundred, and Nita, my wife, would be getting one as well. I've never gotten a check from the government like that, and and to be honest, it feels like welfare. It feels like I'm now a part of the welfare system where I'm being supported. Then I heard again today that that would probably come. I would get another one a month later, and then maybe, maybe it'd go on for three to six months. What What is that all about? I'm confused. Um, I keep hearing the phrase, well, it's not their fault, uh, when we're referring to the cruise industry, the hotel industry, the restaurant industry, the airline industry. Well, it, it wasn't Kmart's fault either, and it wasn't Montgomery Ward's fault, and it wasn't Sears Roebuck's fault. But and borders, but but they didn't adapt to the situation that they found themselves in, and therefore they're gone. They overextended themselves, and and therefore they're gone. And that's that's the world I grew up in. Not not everybody got a trophy when I was in high school. Uh, you either got a gold medal, uh, a silver medal, or a bronze medal, or you got no medals at all. You were just a participant but you strive for that medal. And that, in my generation, that created entrepreneurship, that you, you had to work hard, you had to, you had to excel, you had to be stronger than the next. I, I, I go every afternoon now over to the high school track and uh, I walk and run there. It, up until this morning, I was training for the Senior Olympics. I run the 50, the 100, and the 200 meter in the 75 to 80 year old, and I was training for it. And and there on the the football field are a bunch of young men who obviously are high school or are are young college players. I don't know, but damn, they're good at what they do. And 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 I saw a young man catch a pass and. A, just a bullet thrown at him, and he and he he ran and had came to the sidelines, and there was a there was a metal barrier that was probably uh, four feet high, and from a flat stand from a run to flat feet, he jumped that thing. I said to him, "I can't do that." I just admire people who work hard and achieve, and and then get rewarded for what they put into it, and and I'm afraid that. I'm afraid um, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a dead, uh, dying breed. I'm afraid that entrepreneurship is, is going the way of, it's not your fault. I'm afraid that what I knew of as social welfare is now going to become a part of our civilization. I'm afraid that what two months ago most of my friends and colleagues were 
criticizing Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren for and and saying they were socialist. I, I'm afraid that the going got tough and um, and what they're talking about is going to be a reality. I just I just cringe at the thought that the entrepreneurial spirit is going to die. And if it's not your fault, don't worry about it. We'll take care of you. I still believe that the stock market is going to adjust to this, that minds will come to reason that says if unemployment, and again, the unemployment, 3 million people, I know that there were probably 6 million who applied and they couldn't get their paperwork done because I've seen the pictures of people sitting in an almost an auditorium filling the forms out and people running around and helping them try to get that. That's that's just uh, the tip of the iceberg. Um, So my message to you is I don't I don't like the reaction, but I think sanity will prevail. And I think entrepreneurism will prevail. And I just don't believe that the stock market is going to have five days. We're at the third day up. I don't think we'll have five. Uh, And then you do what you need to do.